that. This week, Montana farmers and ranchers are attending the 100th annual convention of the American Farm Bureau Federation in New Orleans. The Montana Egg Network, Lane Nordland, is in Louisiana with the story. I officially welcome you to New Orleans for the 100th annual Farm Bureau Convention. At the beginning of the 20th century, American agriculture was experiencing hard economic times. From those hard times came the American Farm Bureau Federation and state affiliates. They were grasping, trying to find a way to make a living with transportation problems and trade problems because the rest of the world had tariffs on, on, on our products. They, they were struggling trying to find an answer and do the things the right way. And through the extension service and all the farmers across America, they started uniting. They looked at what they were being accomplishing in their communities with their farm bureaus and what they were accomplishing in the state house and the farm bureau. And they said, we've got to do this on the national level. And they created what we know as American Farm Bureau because they needed one united voice. Over the last century, Farm Bureau has been a voice for agriculture while also advancing the prosperity of rural communities during good and bad times. We've really got to let our voice be, be told and it's through an organization like Farm Bureau that we can do that and to, to get word out to what we do and what our concerns are. The ag economy hasn't been great. It's been an awfully tough year for agriculture all the way around. But there's a lot of enthusiasm, there's a lot of excitement, there's a lot of anticipation of better things to come. Montana Farm Bureau President Hans McPherson knows fair agriculture trade is important and hopeful that current trade tensions won't hurt American producers. We're hoping for no net loss and so far in these renegotiations we've made gains. We haven't lost anything. And so we expect these negotiations. We understand we have to get things fair. We have to get them balanced. It's painful to go through it. Agriculture's always the tip of the spear, and we're going through that. With 60% of all U.S. grains traveling down the Mississippi River to export destinations across the world, farms and ranchers know the importance of trade, and that is the number one thing they want to hear from President Donald Trump when he addresses Farm Bureau members right here in New Orleans this week. Reporting from New Orleans, Louisiana, Lane Nordland, MTN News. Now, Lane will have the Montana Farm Bureau reaction from President Trump's speech from New Orleans later this week.